I don't understand how it's been 8 plus years, but people still doubt the Golden State Warriors when they face adversity. Especially, people say Steph Curry has no chance when history suggests that we have absolutely no reason to doubt him. Prior to last season, people said the Warriors had zero chance of winning a title and even laughed at the mention of them in contention conversations. And even when they won the Western Conference, the Celtics were the overwhelming favorites to defeat the Dubs in the NBA Finals and even led to one in that series. But in games 4 through 6, Steph averaged 31, 6, and 7 to silence the doubters and get his first Finals MVP. Matter of fact, anytime people have counted Steph out, including now against the Sacramento Kings, people are forced to eat their words. In this video, we'll see the various instances in which NBA fans and NBA media seriously doubted Steph in recent years and how wrong they've been in practically every case. But before we get into that, be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a tremendous difference for the channel and also be sure to sub to the channel for even more content like this. It's the 2019 NBA Playoffs, the Warriors are in a difficult series against a team that was literally constructed to beat them. After winning the first two games of the series and heading to Houston, the Warriors lost the next two games and barely clutched out a Game 5 by the skin of their teeth. The problem is, KD was rolled out indefinitely for a calf injury he sustained in that game. And with Steph struggling from the field in that series, it was a foregone conclusion that we were getting a Game 7. Admittedly, that was the case after the first half, as through two quarters, Steph literally went scoreless. But in the second half, something unprecedented happened. To the Rockets fans, so many on their feet right now. Curry launches a three-pointer, puts it in, Steph Curry from downtown. Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three, puts it in again, Steph Curry from downtown. Steph went on to score 33 points in the second half alone, with 23 of those coming in the fourth quarter to send the Warriors to their fifth straight Western Conference Finals. The Warriors ended up not winning the NBA Finals that season, losing to Toronto Raptors in six games. But that doesn't mean that Steph didn't have all-time great performances the rest of the way. Against the Blazers and Damian Lillard, a player that Jeff Van Gundy once said could replace Steph on the Warriors and be just as impactful, Steph averaged 37 points, 7 rebounds, and 8 assists on 43% from 3 and 94% from the free throw line. Mind you, outside of Clay and Draymond, Steph's supporting cast consisted of Alfonso McKinney, Jordan Bell, Jonas Jurepko, and Quinn Cook, all of whom shortly were out of the league after their stints with the Warriors. Also, the Warriors trolled by 17 points in three games in that series and came back to win each game to get a four-game sweep. Additionally, in a failed effort, Steph still averaged 31 points, 6 assists, and 5 rebounds against the 2019 Raptors, including a Game 3 where he dropped 47 points on a top 5 defense. Just a few years prior, the 73-9 Warriors were in an impossible situation that no one could have predicted. The team that set the all-time record for wins and lost just two games at home dropped Game 1 of that series to OKC and found themselves in a 3-1 hole. The thing is, they weren't just down 3-1 in that series, they were flat out embarrassed, losing both games in OKC by an average of 26 points. It should have been over as only three teams in league history had come back from 3-1 deficits in the conference finals. And the dynamic duo of KD and Russ completely outplayed Steph and Clay. However, the Thunder were in for a rude awakening. Steph dropped 31-6-7 and, and had five steals to face off elimination in Game 5, dropped 31-10-9 and in that Game 6, that we only seem to remember for Clay's heroics, and dropped 36, 8, and 5 on 54% from the field and 58% from three to eliminate the OKC Thunder. At this point, 
the idiotic Steph Curry doubts must be an annual occurrence, as the Warriors already disproved the myth that a jump shooting team couldn't make it far in the playoffs, as they made it all the way to the 2015 finals. But Steph was immediately bombarded with people claiming that Matthew freaking Delvadova completely shut him down. But in games 4 through 7 of that series, Steph averaged 28, 6, and 5 on 49% from the field and 45% from 3. Moreover, Steph proved that he could flip a series on his head in just his first playoff series ever. In 2013, the six seeded Warriors were up against the third seeded Denver Nuggets that went 57 and 25 on the season and had the best home record in the league at 38 and 3. They were not only led by the coach of the year in George Carl, but were an elite offense and a solid defensive team as well. But despite that, Steph Curry had other plans. Point lead for the Warriors at halftime. Jack gives it to Landry. Curry. Up fake, slides by, bucket! Jack to Curry. Curry, bang on! Curry, home cooking there! Well, he said that's what's made them so good during the regular season, allow them Curry with a long three-point shot. Curry, but Curry's taking advantage of this matchup. The left-handed finger roll. Curry, Curry with the steal. Steph Curry fires away. Got it! Are you kidding me? The steal. Mind you, this wasn't the free flowing motion offense that was adapted later by Steve Kerr, as this was the ISO heavy, relatively uncreated offense under Mark Jackson. In terms of who Steph's teammates were, well, they had a rookie, Draymond Green was nowhere near the player that he would become because if you can remember mark jackson played him out of position and didn't optimize him to the best of his ability clay thompson was also on that team but this is quite literally his second season in the league and finally david lee only played 30 minutes for that entire series due to injury so essentially steph curry led a six seed warriors team led by a second year clay thompson a rookie harrison barnes Jarrett Jack and Carl Laundry to an upset win against a great Nuggets team despite not having whole court advantage. Finally, Steph's most underrated I'm him moment from his legendary career easily has to be the entirety of the 2021 NBA season. In 2020, the Warriors were dealt a terrible hand, with Klay Thompson being out for the season due to tearing his ACL in the previous finals, KD leaving in free agency, and the Warriors supporting cast consisting of Willie Colley Stein, Glenn Robinson III, and very few games to D'Angelo Russell before he was then flipped for Andrew Wiggins. On top of all of this, Steph would break his hand within the first few games of the season, leaving many people to doubt how much of a floor raiser he actually was. However, in 2021, Steph put all of that to bed, putting up, in my opinion, the best season of his entire career. The Warriors obviously didn't win 73 games that season, actually not even close. However, Steph carried Kent Bazemore, Eric Paschal, and Nico Mannion to what would be the eighth seed in the Western Conference and averaged a career-high 32 points to win the NBA's scoring title. Not only that, he scored that on almost 50-40-90 splits despite being triple teamed and even quadruple teamed at times. In summary, it's not a wise thing to doubt Steph Curry or the Golden State Warriors, and doing so in this series against the Sacramento Kings when you did so in last year's finals against the Celtics is setting yourself up for failure. But with that being said, comment down below your favorite Steph Curry moments of him silencing the doubters, and also be sure to let me know your predictions for the rest of this Warriors Kings series. Be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a tremendous difference for the channel and also be sure to sub to the channel for more content like this. Be sure to check out the channel's TikTok and also hope to see you all in the next one. Stay tuned.